we have a T error on this machine. It's going to be probably a thermistor. And what I'd like to do, make sure it's getting air through it. Oh yeah, blowing, blowing good. So probably the thermistor is shorted out. Get into this machine, you have two clips. They're about five inches in here and they one two now let's get a lanyard hook it there and let's hook it there all right let's take this loose this is the door switch now to get into these machines, pretty simple, you got three screws right here. You have these two clips. Uh oh. I knocked that one loose. I knocked that one loose too. But we can put them back in. So you got these two clips, these three screws on top. And I got a, a thermistor for it right here. And it's gonna have three screws in the front. These screws are special, they're kind of gray and they have a, a uh, washer on it, so be sure when you reassemble you put the right screw in. Alright, now what we'll do is we're going to pop it away from these clips here, I'll just pull up on it and you rock the front to the side and pull out the, the door switch and be careful because this right here is sharp and I've got scars on my thumb where I pulled and cut so we'll just set this one aside and I think these screws right here I believe. there's five screws on this bulkhead there's two on this side if you go down the right side now as you go down the right side, you want to you want to unhook the moisture sensor wire. And you have a screw on your blower assembly. And on here. here now this bulkhead is hanging on here by these tabs so all you have to do is lift up and pull out and remember there's rollers on this drum so lift up pull out and when it goes down those rollers will turn loose there we go now the thermistor on this thing is on this blower it's on the back side of the blower and we're going to take this drum out so you can see the way to do that you reach in there's a idler pulley you can fit it with your hand then you just pop the belt off and it comes loose now the drum out and set it aside and 
and now we can get to the the nester, which is this one right here. At least the mistress will fool you. They'll, they'll test good. So you check, you put it on your own screen. And check, check your, that your meter is working. And if it's testing good, it may be shorted out. The mistress are mysterious. Objects they have a diode in them. All right, and while we're here, we want to test all our components. One of the ways you can test this component is you you look at the wires coming from your uh, dryer itself to these components. You have a red and a blue wire, so. We can disconnect one and let's disconnect both of them. This blue one goes up to here. So that circuit, it's a whole circuit. You have the, the element goes through here, the element comes out here, goes around, goes through this uh, thermostat, goes around and goes through this uh, thermal fuse. So if all of these components are good, you would check from here to here. There you go. Uh, resistance reading there you go so we have continuity between all of those and while you're down here you want to check that the element is not shorted to the frame so on each element uh, post you check that so go ahead and change this to mister and let's hope that's what it was Put it back together and see if that was the problem let's hope it's the problem if it's not there it's going to be in the control board and i hate that control board so. Put this belt on. I'm not going to be able to show you. I don't have the right kind of camera, but I'll see if I can find a clip. You just reach back in here and you put the belt around the motor and then make sure it's on the right side of the of the outer pulley. And the right side of the outer pulley is the one without the arm on it. Then you pull the outer pulley up, put tension on it and feed the belt from the motor around the outer pulley and if you did it right that wheel will turn when you turn the, the drum okay now we can put the bulkhead back on now we just got these rollers on it but don't worry about the rollers what you want to worry about is getting this lip underneath here and these tabs the top holes. All right, once you do that, you won't worry about the rollers now. So you can just turn the tub as you push in, and the rollers fit into place. Lift it back up, and your 
putting these bottom tabs in. All our screw holes line up. Reconnect our moisture sensor. And commence to putting screws back in. can't test this without putting this whole machine back together but we know if we change that to Mr. he sees a cat what home he likes squirrels he goes after the squirrels all right, you remember you have one down here. I've been in a lot of machines people have been into and they forget to put this screw back in on the blower. And it, it seals the, the blower. If you don't, you get all kinds of dust and lint stuff up inside the, the machine. It, it creates like a, a vacuum inside the cabinet and it pulls the lint through the seals into the inside of the machine so we have the bulkhead back on now we can put our front back on to do that you want to line up tabs at the bottom of it make sure you get it lined up then you need to rock it this way and reattach the door switch being careful not to cut yourself on this okay, if everything's right when you push it in these tabs will, will catch and they do we want to redo our wires here this one will have to wait until we get some slack on it all right so we have these three screws on top and you want to be careful you don't use the screws with the washers on them because those are for the front of the machine Now, if you've done this right, you should look in your, your parts tray and there's no extra screws. Alright, let's take our lanyard off. And just drop it right there. So now, while you, while you release the tension on this, you can reattach it to the standoffs. And let it down. And one sharp push on either side should knock those clips into place oh okay push the power back on we'll start hope we don't get a TE error looks like that's what it was so TE error on a Samsung is a th bad thermistor and the thermistor will check out with continuity but this is the one that's bad and it looks good you can't tell it's bad 
Hey, get out of the road. Come here. Come here. I'm going to shorten your leash. Stay out of that road. I'm going to come along and hurt you. Take this to Mr. Off and examine it. Hey, buddy, what you doing? You in here trying to help me? Hmm? What's this? What's this right here? Oh, this is a motor. This is a motor. And this is a thermistor. Get this thermistor out and examine it. It looks good. See it, Wally? Chip is out. Chip is out. <laughs> yeah, let's get you. Let's get you lined up. See, Mama. Here. There you go. Fixed another one. Thanks for watching, ship is out.